Previously, we launched two watches. One was a digital and the other was an analog. This challenge was inspired by Joe Kittinger's amazing feat to travel 100,380 feet into space before parachuting down to the earth. Before we went up, before we sent the watches up into space, we synchronized them and waited for the results to come back. We also designed a squadron patch whose theme was scientific discovery. And each part of the patch had a different meaning. Let's talk about the Yeah. Remember the oh, data we have. So our data was that they were all set to Zulu time. They're so if you look Zulu time, that's what they yeah. should match to. But they no. Our hypothesis for this experiment was that due to the results we had from the watch experiments in the deep freezer that reached a temperature of about negative 10 degrees, we decided that, the, that both watches would probably end up slowing by some determinable amount of time. Following the experiment, our results showed that the digital watch seemed unaffected by the atmospheric temperatures and pressures as it went up into the atmosphere. The analog, however, showed somewhat conclusive results, although further experiments would be needed to firmly conclude whether or not it was actually affected. Alright, um, so for the, if we win the high altitude balloon challenge money, the things we were hoping to invest in are Poles for our color guard flags, gloves for the color guard, new flag bases for in here, color guard belts, and also a new squadron banner and first aid classes.